Hello, it's Blue Orange 22. As you can see from the title, this story comes from Melbourne, Australia, at the University of Melbourne. And exactly like it says, last year, the student union tried to ban white male students from speaking in class. And as you're going to see, this is something that feminists were coming up with and trying to do. So the story is an example of two things. One, the continued hostility against men in society, especially at the university system, where being male has now kind of become like a bad thing to be at university, especially a white male. And two, when people say that feminism helps men too, and feminism is about equality, this is an example of that just not being quite true. Here's the article. I know people don't love the Daily Mail as a source, but I do have a second source, which you'll see later in the video and in the description below. So the headline reads, white males should be banned from speaking during university classes so women and transgender students are more willing to contribute to discussions. A workshop at one of Australia's top universities discussed banning white male students who look like Liberal Party voters from speaking in class. The seminar titled How Privilege Manifests in Tutorials was held last week by the University of Melbourne Student Union. Attendees discussed ways to make tutorials and lectures more inclusive by encouraging women, transgender, foreign, and gay people to speak up more. One proposal was to ban white male students and students resembling liberal voters from speaking. Now in Australia, the Liberal Party is kind of seen as um, a conservative party, so it's more like the Republican Party in the US. So first of all, how is it inclusive to not let people speak just because of how they were born? I mean, think about that. It's literally the opposite. It's exclusive. You're excluding people from participating or communicating just because of how they were born. Secondly, think of how harmful this is to a white male student's education. They're not allowed to talk or participate in debates, and they're not even allowed to ask questions in class. That's just completely insane. Now remember, this was an event by feminists, and the Student Union of Melbourne is very pro-feminist. Take a look at the article. The workshop was one of the many held last week during the Student Union's annual event titled Radical Education Week. Other workshops were titled Feminist History of Capitalism and then etc. But you can see this was a pro-feminist event. And in fact, if you go to the website or social media of the Student Union of the University of Melbourne, you see they commonly have feminist style events. This says that this is a feminist organization, and the ideas that they have are feminist ideas. Even more disturbingly, the president of the student union defended this, as you can see from the article. Student union president Molly Wilmot defended the workshop. And look past the ad. This is not about stopping people from speaking, she said. We're a university that encourages free speech. It's about giving space to people who don't feel included on university campuses because of things like gender, language, and queerness. But that just doesn't make any sense. When she says it's not about stopping people from speaking, that's exactly what it is though. It's literally stopping people from speaking. It's not allowing people to speak just because they've been born a certain way. So saying, well, it's not about doing that, doesn't really change anything because that's exactly what it is and that's exactly what effect it has. The saying, it's not about that, is meaningless to the person who's actually being banned from speaking. Secondly, the part where she said, it's about making unwelcome people on campus feel more welcome. Isn't that exactly though, like what she's not doing? Like what she is doing is making people feel unwelcome right now by supporting literally restriction on speech from certain people. And about it being free speech, how can you call it free speech if you're literally not allowed to speak at all? So the concerning thing to think about is what if this does become the actual policy one day? And people might think that's unlikely, but think about it. This is something the official student union said with no consequences whatsoever was basically hate speech and calling for open discrimination, they said, without 
any repercussions from the university at all. And the president of the student union, Molly Wilmot, is now the president for the entire student union of Australia, the national organization. So what happens if people who feel this way start becoming actual university officials that make the actual rules for the university? Or what if they run for office and they start becoming the politicians and the lawmakers and the judges? What would stop this kind of idea from spreading and becoming an actual rule if not for people like the men's rights movement? This is what feminists actually do. These are things that feminists actually say. So this is an example of why MRAs don't really believe it when feminists say that they help men too. Because we look at what feminists actually say and do, and it's things like this. You'll also notice that there were no feminist groups that came out to speak against this. And there were no feminist groups that said, no, this is wrong, this is unfair, this is discrimination. We have to kind of wonder why that is. I did say I had a second source. This is linked below. It's basically the same story, same article from The Australian. Uh, you can see both of the links down in the description below.